Hello, my name's Ruth Chusley and I'm going to be talking through a little bit about the latest developments in Joomla 3.3 with regards to microdata. I work for a company called Viria Group and I do quite a lot of stuff with microdata so it's uh, definitely an area of interest for me. Um, so microdata is a way that you can add contextual information onto your website resources and it explains the information that's being shown on the website in the relationships that it has with other information on your site but also in other places and this is really key for search engines to actually understand the relationship between resources on the web um, who wrote those resources, how popular they are and what the information that you're displaying actually means um, so understanding a context for the information that you're showing online and the implementation on mi of Microdata in Joomla 3 is just for the com content articles at the moment and this lets us uh, tell search engines information about the content we have in our article pages so it gives us useful information like the language of the page, the title and the author, the genre, the date it was published, the number of hits and it gives the actual content to the website as well. So let's take a look at this article. I've got a Joomla 3.3 beta site set up here and I'm just looking at a regular article. So let's go to Australian Parks for example. Now I use a plugin that tells me the microdata that's in use on a site um, and it's called Microdata Reveal. That's just a Chrome extension and that shows me um, all of the microdata that's visible on that site. Um, but there is also a way that you can find that information out from Google. So Google has a structured data, structured data testing tool and you can get to that just by going to google.com slash webmasters slash tools slash rich snippets and that allows you to test both a URL so you could just put in the URL of a live website and it lets you test a block of HTML so if you're working locally you can copy and paste in your code and see if there's any microdata so for this page it doesn't look like there's anything exciting happening but when we actually look at the code behind this page I'll just copy this block so this is the content block when I drop that into the structured data testing tool it tells me that there's lots of information that's hidden in the code that we can't see that's explaining the information that's visible on the site so it's telling us that it's in ENGB, it's telling us the name of this article is Australian Parks it's giving us the URL and information about the author it's telling us the genre and the date, the number of people who visited the page and then the article body so it's giving contextual information to the words that appear on the page and then as you might notice at the bottom here it's actually um, explaining the information about the author as a person so the way that the markup works for microdata that we're using in Joomla is that it has definite ways of describing different types of things so an article, a person, a place, an event, so forth and so if you're talking about a person you might want to know name, date of birth, an avatar and so forth but with an article you'd be more interested in date published, interaction and so forth and you can see all of the schemas at schema.org so if you'd like to explore a bit about what is available you can visit schema.org and there's all kinds of things that you can explore here so if we look at article for example we're explaining these things so we'll just have a quick look at how this is being done in the code. Um, normally you would see these div classes but what you'll notice here is that we've got item scope and item type defined and we are saying that the information we're about to pass is an article and then we're, s then we're giving the property of the language and saying that it's English GB so that's giving this meta prop is hidden 
So it's not actually being shown on the site, so I can't see anything here that's telling me that it's ENGB, but it's telling that information to a search engine. We then have some nested information that's using the existing tags, so H2 item prop name, and that's giving us information about the name of the article, and this item prop is giving information about the URL. So it's all being put within the existing markup of Joomla. And the result of this is that you actually give search engines a lot more information and they can use that information to then put that into search results. So often you will find if you search for something, if I search for my name, extra information in the results. So here you can see my picture and you can see my Google Plus profile link. Um, and it tells you how many people have me in circles. And there's all kinds of other things that you can um, include. So one of the ones that I talk about often is ha pink handbags. And you can see information being put here about the stars and the ratings and extra links to specific areas relevant to that. All of this comes through microdata. So it's a really great thing to start including within Joomla. The implementation at the moment is really basic, but I'd encourage you to have a look and see what you can do with it and find out more.